Welcome to Lecture Online. Let's do another example of the convolution. Here we have two functions. We have the impulse response, let's say, of a circuit, and we have the source voltage to the circuit, and we're interested in the output voltage. What will we get on the output voltage? And we know it's the convolution of the impulse response and the source voltage. And to remind ourselves that the general equation of the convolution, since the output voltage is equal to the convolution of the impulse response and the source voltage, it's equal to the integral from 0 to t of the source voltage in the dummy variable tau times h to t minus tau dt. Of course, this is the impulse response. And what we've done is we flipped it over. Now we're sliding it across the source voltage. And see, this is what we get. So we're going to then integrate this from 0 to t. So first we plug in the source voltage equation, which is right here, 10 e to the minus t. And then we multiply that times the impulse response. So we're going to write it as h of t minus tau. So that becomes 2 e to the minus 2. And instead of t, we're going to write it as t minus tau d tau. And correction here, we're going to use the w variable tau, not t. All right, we can factor out a 20, so this is equal to 20 times from 0 to t, the integral of e to the minus tau, and here when we apply that, we can write this as e to the minus 2t, and this times this will give us e to the positive 2 tau d tau. Now remember that in this case, t is simply a constant we can be factored out, and then we can multiply these two together, which gives us 20 times e to the minus 2t times e to the minus tau, so it's the integral from 0 to t, e to the minus tau times e to the plus 2 tau, which gives us e to the tau d tau. Okay, now we can integrate that. That's a relatively easy integral. This is equal to 20 e to the minus 2t times, that would be, e to the tau evaluated from 0 to t, which means when you evaluate that, we get 20 e to the minus 2t times, when we plug in the upper limit, we get e to the t minus, when we plug in the upper limit, we get e to the 0, which is equal to 1. Now we can multiply e to the minus 2t in that integral, and we get the following. This would be equal to 20 times when we multiply these two together, we add exponents, that's e to the minus t, and then this times this is minus e to the minus 2t. And that's probably the most simplified form in which we could write the solution, but that would then be the output voltage relative to the input voltage and the impulse response of the circuit. And so that's how we use the convolution to find the result of a problem like this. And that's how it's done.